Hi everyone. Um, what I want to do today is very quickly show you how to convert gene IDs using Ensemble Biomart. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the web interface um, for the Biomart tool, but equally you can do this um, sort of conversion using the, uh, the Biomart um, R package bioconductor. So if you click on Biomart from the Ensemble homepage, which is in the blue bar at the top, This will take you to uh, a session uh, in the browser to, um, to use the Biomark tool. So you can click on New at the top left-hand corner, and that will take you to a new Biomark query. And the first step in any Biomark query uh, is to choose your database and your data set. So we can do that using the drop-down options here. So I'm going to choose Genes, and I'm going to choose the human data set, so the human genes there. And once we've chosen our database and our data set, what we can do is we can then um, choose the filters. So if we click on filters uh, in the menu on the left-hand side, and then expand the gene panel, we can choose the filter here that says input external references ID list. So if I select this filter by checking the box there, what I can then do is I can add my gene IDs uh, that I wish to convert. So I can do this in one of two ways. Um, firstly, I can just paste my IDs straight into the text box here. Or if I have a longer list of IDs that you might have, for example, you can upload a file here um, if you've got, for example, a text file with a long list of IDs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste my data in. So what I have here is just a list of six gene names. Um, and then you can see the different types um, of gene IDs that you can convert. So what we have here is a drop-down menu, and it shows us all the different types of IDs that you can use um, with the Biomart tool. So here you can see, for example, the Ensemble Gene Stable IDs. What we've actually also put in here, though, is the gene name. So you need to select gene names here. But from that list, you can see that there are actually a lot of different IDs that you can use as input IDs from uh, lots of different databases um, that are mapped to Ensemble Gene IDs. So here you can see all the different IDs that you could possibly put in to the text box there. So once you've finished that stage, you just need to make sure that the, the input data in the drop-down box matches what you've actually put uh, in the input. Then you can click on Attributes in the menu on the left-hand side. Uh, and then what we need to do is we need to open this Gene panel. So by opening the gene panel, you can begin to choose the data that you want to have retrieved, so from the Ensemble databases. So you can see here that by default, we're already selecting the gene stable ID. So for each gene name that I've input, I'm going to get the Ensemble gene stable ID uh, in my table at the end. The transcript stable ID is also added by default, but I'm going to get rid of this just for this query. Uh, and instead, I'm going to add gene name. So that means that my input's also going to be in my output. And if I scroll further down, uh, you can also see this external panel is here. So I'm going to open this external panel. And you can then scroll down, and you can see some different external references here. So here we have a number of different databases that you can retrieve the ID for for the list of gene names. So for example, if you wanted um, to retrieve the NCBI gene ID, you can add that as an attribute. Uh, you can choose a maximum of three from this list here. Um, and then you can see that the ones that you do click are added to the attributes here. So I'm going to now retrieve the gene stable ID, the gene name, and the NCBI gene ID. So once I've done that, I can click on results. Uh, and then out the end, you can see that for each of my six genes that I have here, one, two, three, four, five, six, I've got the ensemble gene stable ID, uh, and then also the NCBI gene ID as well. So once you've got your table, um, you're just previewing it at the moment, you can export it um, using the options at the top here uh, in a number of different formats. Uh, and of course, you can use a, a list that's much longer than this. This is just to show you guys uh, how to get, how to get um, started with this sort of uh, ID conversion. So Biomart's a really great tool. You can do lots more um, than just converting IDs, but this is a really neat um, trick that you can do uh, if you've got IDs in one format and you just need to switch them to the other. So if you have any questions, then please comment on the video. Um, we'll try and get back to you. Or if you want to see anything else demonstrated in the Ensemble browser, then we're going to try uh, and do some more of these Twitter Live uh, tutorials as well. 
So thank you for joining us uh, and we'll see you next time.